Hello everyone, I'm just making this video to sum up the Flyers day one in free agency. So, we already knew about Keith Yandel, we, we knew about that signing yesterday, but today it became uh, confirmed. The Keith Yandel, so the Flyers signed Keith Yandel, brought back Nate Thompson, and signed Martin Jones. Those are the three major moves that have happened so far in this free agency day. Now, Keith Yandel, I like the move a lot. The bringing him back with Kevin Hayes, bringing him with Cam Atkinson, like the New England funny guy crew. He's reunited with Elaine Vigneau too. Keith Yandel, Iron Man in the NHL, should. He's not going to miss probably any games unless he gets hurt. He'll be a good uh, bottom pairing, probably with Justin Braun. The only thing that makes me a little concerned is that I was looking for like Cam York or Igor Samula to get some NHL ice time this year, and I guess we'll have to. Uh, Wait and see for that. That they'll probably start as the top pairing for the Phantoms. But Keith Yandel, locker room guy, funny personality, should get along with people a lot. I like that signing. Martin Jones. Now, we let go of Brian Elliott. We we he he was a free agent. He signed with the Lightning. Martin Jones is now going to be Carter Hart's backup, and I'm not really sure about this because Martin Jones is talented. He had some very good seasons with the Sharks earlier in his career. He won the uh, Stanley Cup with the Kings in 2014 as Jonathan Quick's backup. But the last few years, he's been really bad. His save percentage has been below 90%. And from all accounts, it seems like he's had like sort of like a Carter Hart issue where it, like he had something going on like mentally focusing, just lack of confidence, and... Hopefully, Martin Jones can get back to at least competent. If he if he can get his save percentage to like nine oh five, and just be stable, and maybe like help me, he and Carter Hart can talk and work on like their like confidence issues together. Maybe that'll work, but not really crazy about the Martin Jones signing, especially because Braden Holpe, I believe, was signed one year by the stars, by the same amount, for the same amount of money. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see about Martin Jones, but we'll see. Not crazy about it now, but we'll see. We just got to be patient. And lastly, uh, not a major signing, but the Flyers do bring back Nate Thompson to preferably be a bottom six, probably fourth line role. Uh, Nate Thompson, of course, was uh, traded to the Flyers from the Canadians in uh about the 2020 deadline only played about seven games i believe in the regular season before the shutdown and then he played i'm pretty sure every play every game in the playoffs in 2020 now nate thompson he's just going to be a bottom uh fourth layer uh fourth line guy but apparently he's a uh, really was really liked in the locker room he's, he got along with a lot, a lot of people really well and he's mainly just being in there like a veteran presence, locker room guy. And, you know, he's good. He can he's a pretty good penalty killer. And can get you and yeah, so those are the three main signings for the Flyers so so far. So those are my thoughts on all three of them.